Happy new comic book day, everyone. Let's go over what we're picking up for July 21st, 2021. And if you enjoy new comic book day, please leave a like while the intro plays. To be entered to win this CGC 9.8, Darth Vader number three, the first appearance of Dr. Afra. all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, comment and like in any of my videos. Good luck, everyone. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jordan, and welcome to Basement Collectibles. And if you like new comic book day, toys, movies, and arcades, please consider subscribing for more great content. I hope you were able to pick up what you wanted from last week. And thanks again for everybody that was writing in the comments section from last week of what they're either specking on or just picking up for a great story. We have a big week coming up, especially for the indie side of comics. And there's also some number one issues to look at. This will probably be my first time. I won't be looking at any Batman comic books for the week. So first up by Mad Cave, we have Nottingham number five. This is the final issue of the series. I've been talking about this series on my channel a lot. If you haven't read Nottingham, definitely give it a try. Even if you have to wait for the graphic novel, give it a shot. You'll really, really enjoy it. From Image Comics, Skybound X number three. Each issue is coming out week by week. I already own the first two, so I think I'm gonna keep on going with this series, but please let me know in the comments below if anyone's reading this series. From Boom Studios, Berserker number four by Keanu Reeves. I've been really enjoying this series and I love the over the top violence. From IDW, Star Wars High Republic, Adventures number six. If you're looking for a great story and also looking for spec slash investment book, this might be the one there's a cameo appearance and also first two full appearances. From Image Comics, Shadecraft number five. This series has definitely been picking up. So if you only read the first two issues, definitely get back on this and start reading it again. And from Marvel, Moonlight number one. There's also a first appearance, and I'm really looking forward to the Disney Plus show that's coming out soon. So hopefully this comic's gonna be great. So I have two Give It A Shot books this week, and the first one from Image Comics is Siphon number one. It states an EMT is given the ability to sense and siphon pain from others, but this gift quickly becomes a curse as the mysterious forces wish to covet this power for their own means. And the second Give It A Shot book is Trailer Park Boys, Get An Effing Comic Number One. This is an anthology of short stories based on the characters from the TV show. Being from Canada, I remember watching this TV show, so I'm definitely gonna give this a shot. And for the Peach Momoka fans out there, there's two issues this week. One is Captain Marvel Number 30, the Variant C cover, and also Guardians of the Galaxy Number 16. So enjoy if you're a Peach Momoka fan. For the cover of the week, actually has to go to two covers. The first cover is X-Men Legends number five, the variant figure cover. These look so realistic. I'm just a big fan of putting my action figures on cards on the wall. This looks really stunning. And the second cover of the week has to go to Catwoman number 33, the variant cover from DC. This variant cover art was made by Jenny Frizen. Huge fan of Jenny Frizen, even though I probably can't pronounce her name right. So just a few notables to mention before my pick of the week. First one up is Spawn Universe, the second print by Images coming out. Bermuda number one by IDW. It states that Bermuda is a 16 year old girl who lives on an island in the Pacific where planes and people go missing, but one such arrival is about to change everything. And also White, the second print is coming out. So just like my give it a shot of the week and my cover of the week, I also have two picks of the week, and the first one is Mom, Mother of Madness number one. This is co-written by Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. It states a woman who lives in an otherwise normal life activates bizarre powers to take on human traffickers. Now this has been heavily specced on already by a lot of comic YouTubers, but I'm definitely gonna give this a shot, and who knows if this will be a vestment or hopefully at least just a great story. And my second pick of the week has to go to, by Boom Studios, Dark Blood number one. It states, after an incident that occurs in 1955 Alabama, a young black man awakens with incredible abilities in a country that never wanted him to have any power. Please let me know in the comments below if you're picking up Mom or you're going to give Dark Blood a try. So that's my list for July 21st, 2021. But please let me know in the comments below what you're picking up. Is there any investment spec books that you have in mind? Or are you just strictly picking up for the series slash story? So thanks for everybody for watching. And if you're new here, we do this every Monday to go over what everyone's picking up for this Wednesday's new comic book day. And I'm really sorry if I use the word definitely in this video more than three times. So thanks everyone for watching really close to the 600th subscriber milestone. So thank you very much for the new subscribers and old subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, now's your chance, or at least please like and comment on your way out. And everybody have a great day. Take care.